Hi everyone, in today's video we will be discussing about PCOS. Uh, PCOS is one of the common uh, issues encountered among the women. Uh, PCO, PCOS, PCOD all mean the same. It depends upon the intensity of the symptoms with which women are being affected. If only a uh, ovaries are being affected then it's called as polycystic ovaries but if there are ample of symptoms along with the polycystic ovaries then it is called as polycystic ovarian syndrome so going to the incidence polycystic ovarian syndrome is very common nowadays among one in five women in india experience pcos during the reproductive age which is like from menarche uh, when the menstrual cycle is initiated till the menopausal age so uh, PCOS is not a dangerous or hazardous condition but it affects some aspects of reproductive life so in the earlier days PCOS was not prevalent but nowadays it is very frequent going to the causes there is no specific one cause for PCOS but uh, there are many factors which can influence PCOS. Let's say look into that. So first is genetic factor. Genetic factor is the one where uh, if a relative is having PCOS, if a female is having PCOS, then the first degree relatives of the uh, person has twofold chances of getting PCOS. Let's say my blood relatives, mother, daughter, grandmother to granddaughter or uh, maternal aunt. Hello? All these sorts of uh, relation uh, first degree relatives have higher chance of getting PCOS next is insulin resistance see insulin resistance is something which we need to understand so when we are in a high carb diet with a poor lifestyle what happens is our body goes in the state of insulin resistance where it doesn't take up the amount of insulin produced in the body so as a result uh, what happens is um, girls or females with PCOS tend to be in tend to you no know, don't react to the insulin produced and they develop a tendency of diabetes or they can be at a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes mellitus in near future okay next is poor lifestyle of course uh, faulty dietary patterns and immunoappropriate exercises are one of the causes for PCOS in the coming generations. Surge in male hormones is another cause for PCOS. What happens normally is our bodies are designed in such a way that every month uh, ovary releases an egg from its follicle and the egg travels all the way through the fallopian tube and goes into the uterus and stays there waiting for fertilization. If fertilization doesn't happen then due to hormonal influence what happens is there is a periodical shedding down of the uterine wall every month which comes as menstrual cycle so this happens every month but if the hormone imbalance occurs there is as i told earlier there is there are hormones like male hormones androgens which are more in pcos and there is insulin resistance condition called insulin resistance where uh, the insulin hormone influences the all other hormones of the prepared system of the female so what happens is uh, if in case of PCOS the normal ovaries don't produce eggs uh, from the follicle every month which is their job to do but they don't do because they lack hormones there and because of these lack of hormones the immature eggs that are still in the ovaries they become as cysts and they are like almost trapped on the ovarian surface itself and uh, some there are, because there are two ovaries what happens is initially this is not this condition is not very appropriate because there are two ovaries on two sides of the fallopian tubes so either if one is polycystic or if one bears cyst the other one works as a um, compensatory one so either way we have ovulation we have menstruation and everything is under control but at one point of time if both the ovaries are cysted if both the ovaries are insisted with uh, the immature eggs and they don't produce ovulation then the picture goes wrong and all the hormones take a toll 
the hormonal imbalance sets up that's what pcos is all about looking into the symptoms of pcos the symptoms of pcos include uh, irregular menses which is a very common symptom which happens due to the imbalance in hormones and because of surge in male hormones there is uh, alopecia there is uh, central obesity and uh, there is hirsutism which means hair uh, in excess hair growth is in excess in uh, un inappropriate areas like in face as in abdomen or in the chest or in the lower up ab lower abdomen and all these sorts of things and we call this hirsutism with this we have come to the end of video hope this has simplified pcos and made it more clear thank you for being with me stay tuned bye bye